Good afternoon. I hope that you and your families are well. I'm now able to share with you our plans for uh, reopening on Monday the 8th of March. Please do listen to the end of my message because you might find that during the message there are things that apply to your family that you'd miss if you uh, stop at the end of your information about your phase of school. So first of all, on Monday the 8th of March, the primary phase will be reopening in full and that means all children have to attend and it's mandatory attendance which means you do have to attend school unless you are unwell or unless you've got an authorised absence back from myself. Please can you make sure that you use the Duke's Brow entrance and it's the same timings and procedures as during the Michaelmas term. This means you really do need to make sure that you and your children socially distance as far as possible. Please, if at all possible, can only one adult bring your children because this will cut down the number of adults on site. Please ensure that you come at the relevant time and um, ready for your children to be taken to school and also at pick up time. And again, you're aware of the different places to pick up using the car park behind the gym as well as other areas around the school primary site. Please do not send your child in if they have any symptoms of coronavirus and please be aware there's now 11 main symptoms and I will put all of them in my letter that follows this message but please be aware it's no longer just the main three of a high temperature, of a new cough or losing the taste or smell. Again, please make sure you follow any isolating rules that may affect your family and that's if you've got a positive case within your household or whether you've got a suspected positive case and that means the rest of the family does need to isolate until that case is confirmed. If your child does have to miss school for any reason, we will be continuing with our remote learning programme but obviously because most children are in school now, you're not going to get as many live lessons although we'll do our best to do as many as we can alongside teaching the children in school. Now the secondary phase, we are going to have to do a phased return and that's because of the number of uh, children who have taken up the testing when they return to school. If you haven't signed up for this, then there is still time, so please do, as it is important that we do test as many children and adults as possible to make sure that our community remains safe. So on Monday the 8th of March, we would like the following year groups to return. First of all, year 12 and year 13, and I'd like you to come in from half past eight. If you are signed up for testing, you must come in from the main reception entrance and please go straight up to the library annex from the stairwell that is in front of the main reception. When you get up to the top, you'll then be able to have your test by a member of staff and then you will go to lessons as normal. If you haven't signed up for testing, then please go to the Sixth Form Centre, Singleton House, and have your form periods as normal. And you should expect to be in lessons all the way through the day and you should be expect to be in school from that day going forwards. Now we would also like year 10 to return on Monday but we only want you to return at 11 o'clock so that means you will stay at home for periods 1 and 2. When you arrive on school site you need to be ready to go to period 3 unless you've been given consent to have a test. If you are having a test you come into the building, in fact all of you 10 need to come into the building from main reception, but if you're having a test you need to then go up to the library annex from the stairwell that's the same side as main reception and we'll be waiting to have your tests. If you're not having a test you go to period 3 and you'll be registered in your period 3 lesson. All the other year groups should remain at home on Monday and you'll be following remote learning so please do log on to your lessons, we'll still be running live lessons, we'll still be running those recorded lessons so please do log on. And a reminder that I'm sorry but we are unable to actually have a separate key worker and critical worker and vulnerable children bubble whilst we're returning to school. So from Monday, year 10, year 12 and year 13 you are back every single day. And that means you are back from normal time following Monday. So year 12 and year 13, 8.30, every day next week and all the time past next week. Year 10, 11 o'clock on Monday, 
But then on Tuesday and the following days, you need to be in at 8.30, going to form period as normal. On Tuesday, we're going to see Year 7 and Year 8 return. So Year 7, I would like you to come to school at 8.30, come into school using the main reception, and go to your form rooms. If you have consent to have a test, you need to go to the library annex, and you go to the library annex from the stairwell in front of the main reception, and we'll get your test for you. You'll then be in lessons, based in your form rooms, just like you were before at the Christmas holidays. And you'll still have that, that set up of having three lessons, lunch, and then three lessons. Year eight, we would like you to come in at 11 o'clock. So you'll be at home for periods one and two, and then you'll need to come in at 11 o'clock through main reception. If you're having a test, go to the library annex. You're going to get the idea of this now from the stairwell in front of main reception. And if you're not having a test, you go to your period three room and you'll be registered in that room. So by the end of Tuesday, we will have in school, as well as all the primary, we'll have years 12 and 13, year 10, years eight and year seven. Which means on Wednesday, that we will have the remainder of year 11 and year nine coming into school. On Wednesday, remember, year 12, year 13, Year 10, Year 8 and Year 7 all need to be in at 8.30 because you're back in school as normal. On the Wednesday, Year 11, you're going to come back at 8.30. So following what I've said for the other year groups, you come into school, if you've got a test, library annex, we will meet you there and arrange for your tests. And then you're in full time from that moment. If you are in Year 9, you're going to come in from 11 o'clock use the main reception. If you've got a test, you go to the library annex. If you haven't got a test, you go to your normal period three lesson and we'll register you in lessons. So by the end of Wednesday, the whole of the school is back. On Thursday and going forward, you will come back at normal hours. So we're back being in school by 8.30 till 10 to four. Everybody will be back following their timetable. We will continue obviously with testing and the tests have been arranged between three and five days apart but we will deal with that in school and we'll collect your children for their tests during the day that they're having them. So you don't need to look at having a staggered start to any of the days following Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. I know it's a lot of information, I am going to put this in the letter so you can see exactly how it affects your child. Now while we're talking about these things, it's really important for all our children, whether in primary phase or whether in secondary phase, that you really emphasise the importance of social distancing. Again, we're a very busy site, there's 1,250 children on school and 200 staff, so we do need to make sure that we do follow social distancing measures. So please can you reiterate that with your children. And for years 7 and above, that includes wearing face masks. And for short term, up to Easter, it has been recommended that face masks are now worn in classrooms, not just around the school site. So it is really important that your child, first of all, comes wearing a face mask, that you've gone through making sure they know how to put it on and take it off safely, that they remember that if they are putting on or taking off their mask, that they wash their hands or sanitise their hands, and we have sanitizer in every single room in school, so they must use that and making sure that if their mask becomes damp for any reason, then it needs to be replaced. So it's a good idea to have a spare mask in a plastic bag that can be kept in your child's pocket or if they're unsure at any point during the day, they just need to go to main reception and we'll be able to give them a spare mask. In addition to that, obviously we really important to keep the school ventilated. So we will be having windows open and we'll be having doors open. Now hopefully the weather will be much nicer and much kinder than it has been for the last few weeks but it has been cold today I'll admit and therefore please make sure your child brings an extra jumper that they can wear underneath their blazer and keep them warm. They still do need to wear the blazer and that goes over the top of their, their jumper and please make sure that jumpers are sensible. It's not an alternative, it's something to actually keep them warm. Now, if it's a PE day, your child still comes in PE kit, just like we did before uh, the Christmas break. And the children are used to this uh, arrangement by now. 
Can we also make sure that if any child at any point has any symptoms, please don't send them into school. The knock-on effect can be quite catastrophic. I don't say the words, I'm going to apologise in this video. Can be really dangerous, we'll change the word. So please make sure that you do listen to your children. If they do complain at all of headache, and headache seems to be the one that's the most common. So if they've got a really severe headache, you know, please make sure that you err on the side of caution. We will be actually keeping with our remote learning as far as possible. We will be doing um, some live lessons. I cannot promise they'll be all the time because we have to be able to teach the children that are in school. But we will be doing some um, and we'll keep that going as much as possible. And if your child is studying at home for remote learning and is having any difficulties, please encourage them to email their teachers, their head of year, Mr Vyse, Mrs Tattle or Mrs Cox, and we will deal with that as soon as possible. Whilst you're thinking of that, about travel to school, we also need to make sure that you're aware of all the arrangements. So please, if you're following, uh, if you're taking any public transport, please make sure you follow social distancing, you wear face masks, etc. If you can walk to school, please do so. It is the safest way to get to school. Remember, please, just one adult to bring the children, as again, it cuts down uh, having the number of adults on site. I will follow all this up, as I keep saying in my letter, with lots of other information. But if at any point you have any concerns, then please do contact school, preferably through head of years or through one of the senior leaders. But do contact us so we can try and, and make sure that your concerns are addressed before we reopen. Please keep healthy. I hope you keep safe. And I'm looking forward to all the children returning early next week. Thank you.